morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, we are fixing to leave this truck stop. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, we were at the Petro here in Perrysburg, Ohio. That's right. Now it's time to get out of here. It's early in the morning. Well, at 6.25 in the morning right now. So we're gonna try and find our way out of here. I think the best way to go is go around this way, I think. Everything else will probably be blocked off. Yeah, this is a fairly big truck stop up here. You uh, can almost guarantee to find a parking spot in here. There's almost always something open in here. But yeah, this is definitely a big truck stop. As you can see, there's just rows after rows with trucks, you know. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go here where uh, the fuel station ends between the scale and all that. That's where we gotta exit out of. And you can see there's still more rows of trucks. That's why I'm saying it's almost guaranteed to find a parking spot in here because, and, and this is not the only truck stop that's around this area. If that was the only truck stop, maybe it'd be a bit harder, but. There's a flying J on the other side of the uh, interstate, and there's a Love across the street, and there is a TA over there by I-80, uh, within a mile, and then there is, a, I think, another pilot up there. So there's a bunch of truck stops up in this area, so that's why it is almost always guaranteed to be parking out here, you know? Yeah, that's right. But we're gonna get on to the big road here in a few minutes. We just gotta be 1,000 feet, make a turn few right circles. Benson Road, and then take the entrance to the right in 850 feet. Yeah, Talk that's ahead. right. Yeah, we'll be on the Toll Highway in Ohio, and then in enter Indiana. Feet, turn right on. Benson Road, and then take the entrance to the right in 850 feet. All right, RJ, you tell them, you tell them. That's right. So, let's get on down on the road, and we'll show you what we can today. We appreciate you guys joining us today. So let's have ourselves a fantastic uh, Friday. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have just made ourselves a little bit of a pit stop up here in one of these rest areas. Yeah, we are already past Elkirk, Indiana. Looks like right now, I think we got about 34 miles to go and we'll be in Chicago. Yeah. We had to take our mandatory half an hour break, so we did that. And on top of that, we had another half an hour off to create a uh, video for you guys. Didn't have anything on this particular day which would have been a week ago, but uh, when you watch this video and so uh, I announced that I was going to go to a truck show and also that I was going to do a live show on Sunday and it's a little bit of a video, you know see how that goes yeah, I'm going to be in Canada on Sunday, so uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it works out for me so I can do a live show up there. That would be very nice to do a live show for a change. I haven't done one in a long time, so uh, get more interaction with you guys, you know. You can uh, get answers like that, you know, like ask questions. And, we can talk about it or whatever, you know. 
or we can talk about whatever. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, it just started drizzling here just a tiny little bit here a few minutes ago, but uh, now it seems like it's disappeared again, but it's definitely cloudy, that's for sure. It was nice and sunny this morning. And now it's cloudy again, but i much rather take rain instead of uh, ice rain or snow. But with the temperatures cooling down dramatically over the last couple of hours here, it's... <laughs> or basically since yesterday, I think we had like plus 14, 15 yesterday and now it's only plus 5. So it's cooled down uh, pretty good. We could see some snow later on today maybe. Yeah, it's very possible. You never know. But it is Friday. We're going to try and get through Chicago ASAP before all the rush hour starts. And then we'll be in the clear, I think. And we don't really have too many cities to worry about anymore. Yeah, Minneapolis is not too bad, you know. There you can usually get around okay, but Chicago it can be a bit of a hassle sometimes. Yeah. And I think uh, yesterday was St. Pa Patrick's Day. That reminded me of Patrick there from Chicago. Yeah. But anyways, we'll get out of here. Alrighty guys, we are in Chicago. And I just wanted to show you this beautiful, beautiful Peterbilt with a big sleeper on it. Look at that. Looks like it's got AC and everything on top of that. That is a beautiful, beautiful truck right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's been, it feels like Friday out here in Chicago, that's for sure. Slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up. Had one, uh, not a big semi truck, but a, a smaller, uh, like a five ton or eight ton truck there earlier. He literally cut me off there earlier, but nothing happened. He did, at least it didn't clip me, so, uh, I was lucky that way, but he just barely, barely missed me. He was coming from my left here and just cut right in front of me. He was like inches away from hitting me, you know. But yeah, that's the way it goes up here and we're just gonna have to wait till uh, we get up here in the uh, construction zone. It's gonna be even more of a disaster. I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along. It got pretty cloudy over here earlier. And now it's starting, the sun is starting to shine through again. Yeah. Got another toll, uh, toll booth basically coming up here. I can stay here in the electronic toll only zone because uh, Oh, this guy decided, oh, he wants to make a right here, eh? I guess you missed, uh, missed the exit. I don't know why he wanted to change lanes right here, but... Oh, well. Anyways, I have an easy pass, so I can stay in this electronic, uh, toll lane, so it electronically picks up the single, and charges to the uh, pay, uh, to the uh, easy pass uh, account I guess yeah oh yeah <laughs> that's right yeah we're making okay time today it's still uh, before 12 o'clock and we're already done about four and a half hours worth of driving we're doing pretty good, I would say. Yeah. Continue on this road for nine miles. So let's get in down the road. 
let's get into Wisconsin as soon as we can and that way we'll be out of Chicago area, right? That's right. I don't know why people always take that 290 up there. I don't get it. So you, you can take this 294 up here and come out in the same area, but yet if you take that 290, look at the backup over there. And it's like that every single day. It never gets better. It's always backed up over there on that round. And if you take this 294, you have no problem. You don't have to take no exit. You just basically smooth right through, you know? Like, I don't get it. It's always a long lineup over there. And especially when it's rush hour, it's even worse than it is right now. But anyways, part of Chicago. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today is one of those days where uh, things just seem to be going eh, 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 eh. <laughs> downhill. <laughs> A problem with the truck today. Yes, I'm about to show you something. Now don't freak out. This is a little can right here that you see. That is from my clutch fluid. And uh, it's not looking so good down there, is it? That's clutch fluid. This hose that you see right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That hose appears to be leaking. Yes. And I filled that can up and uh, I couldn't quite see. So I overfilled it a little bit. So uh, that's why you see so much oil on the fender there. It wasn't quite as bad earlier but uh, then we go to this side of the truck and there's more problems yes not just one problem we are looking at more problems yeah so that's <laughs> I'm just looking at everything making sure everything is good you know <laughs> I'm scared to look at things but that's uh, take a look over here yikes that is my AC compressor and it looks like that clutch has seen better days that's what it looks like yeah that's not a good sign that is definitely not a good sign I can tell you that much so we're gonna need a new uh, air conditioning compressor and we need a new hose for that uh, clutch clutch line there so uh, Anyways, we're going to go ahead and close the hood here and uh, get back on the road. We can still drive. It's not uh, not the end of the world, but days of being an owner-operator. Well, not just being an owner-operator. It happens to pretty much anybody. You could be a driver and these things can break. They don't last forever, right? But anyways, let's close the hood and let's get out of here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Wisconsin for a good while already. Just cruising along here. We are almost up to uh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. And it started snowing here a little bit. Yeah, really wet flurries. But yeah, we are still able to continue on driving. Don't have no uh, problems yet. Mind you, I do have the AC turned off, so uh, it can't come in or kick in. So, uh, so yeah, I'm thinking about taking the belt off here tonight. Might just take it off for safety reason. But yeah, we are just about hitting Black River Falls up here. I'm just looking at it on how far I can uh, probably make it and it looks like uh, I was on the phone there with the wife there for a little bit and uh, if I stop in uh, Wilson, Wisconsin it's a thousand and forty some kilometers up to the border so that'll be a little bit tight I could do it but I'll be a little bit tight so what I'm going to try and do is go up to exit 10 to, to the uh, new pilot that they got up there and I might just call it a day over there hopefully they got parking in there and that way uh, I'll be a little bit closer that would be about 18 miles closer so that would shorten it off a little bit that would make it a little easier see here we go now it's starting to snow again so then we could uh, 
make it a little easier to the border tomorrow. As soon as we cross that border, we get an additional two hours to drive. So then uh, I could probably make it up to Weyburn, Saskatchewan tomorrow night. Yeah, that would be good. That would give me a good day's worth of driving tomorrow. A hard day worth of driving, actually. Considering the truck allowing me to. Well, I mean, even if that oil uh, runs out on that little can there for the clutch, uh, that doesn't mean that I can't continue driving. It just means that uh, if I stop somewhere, I ain't gonna have no clutch. I gotta just keep uh, remembering that, right? So that's the only thing. Other than that, I can shift with uh, my RPM. I don't really need a clutch. <laughs> As soon as I get going, I'm good to go, right? Let's try and keep that windshield clean so you can see out of the window. But yeah, we've been uh, doing pretty good today already. We got probably another, well, I would say another hour, no, another two hours. And then we'll be done for today, yeah. Another two hours about yeah maybe a little less than two but something like that and we'll be done we'll call it a day I don't remember what that little town is called up there by uh, that new pilot there by exit 10 but hey we'll try and find out when we get there right and then maybe tomorrow morning I'll fill the truck right up so that way we're good to go so we don't have to worry about running out of fuel and then again maybe I won't need to uh, well yeah I'll probably need to put uh, some fuel in because uh, it's a few hours from the border yet up to where I can fuel up so I might want to just consider fueling up yeah I might just do that I might just fuel up tomorrow morning when I get out of there tonight number one priority is getting a parking spot that's right yeah, I thought it was going to be uh, spring. We weren't going to get any more snow, but I guess we're still getting a little bit of snow. I know they got a ton of snow up there in Duluth, Minnesota. That's what Scotty and them were saying the other day. That's right. But anyways... Let's continue on cruising along here. Yeah? All right, guys, we have made it to Roberts, Wisconsin, to the uh, new Pilot Flying J up here. Yeah, it's a bit crooked parking here. You gotta park a little downhill up here where I'm parked at. I don't really like parking like that, but sometimes you gotta do it, right? Yeah, and it's, I don't know, not the best parking up here, that's for sure. They never really designed this, I think, in my opinion, to be a very truck-friendly trucking truck parking here. But, oh well, we got us a parking spot, and that's all that matters. We did some good miles today. So we are very happy to, uh, to say that. We got 1,048 miles, according to RJ to our final destination so if we do a bit more than 600 maybe closer to 700 miles tomorrow then leaves us about 350 miles a day after so that'd be a pretty good day we'll have a really long day tomorrow so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog we're gonna put this video together so that way as soon as we cross the border tomorrow we can start uploading these videos for you guys and that way by the time I'm stopped tomorrow night maybe uh, they're all uploaded or whatever and then that way uh, Sunday we can do our live show yeah that's the plan anyways but uh, yeah it was not a bad day today either so we did pretty good miles I think we did 600 plus miles today it was probably 620 miles we did today or something like that so we didn't do too shabby today either in my opinion for myself anyways 
some of you might say ah that's not that much you know but for me it's not a bad day when I can get anything over 600 miles is a good day for me so anyways we're gonna get to uh, editing this video so we'll see you guys again tomorrow thanks for watching if you are new to our channel hit that subscribe button right there in the corner so you will get email notified or if you use the app you'll get notified right away uh, whenever I upload a new video and sometimes I can be throughout the day or maybe I do a live show every once in a while you know so you'll get notified and uh, if you're watching this video please give me a fat thumbs up and share this video that helps me out tremendously and with that being said being said have a good fantastic day tomorrow is Saturday so have a good weekend everybody be sure to stick around over here though we got some cool videos coming up so we'll see you then have a good one bye bye This behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.